Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Hello Dave. We're gonna start in Star Citizen where there is some free stuff up for grabs. This week, Star Citizen Con, or Citizen Con as it's just called, is running on a Saturday, which a number of different talks where the developers, CIG, is gonna go in, take a look behind the curtain, they're gonna give us a, a, a look into the engine room of Star Citizen, both of what they've been working on, but also some really in-depth talks about how the game works and how they've been developing it so far. What happens this year is there will also be some free items that you will get that every single backer will get. What you can get is you're gonna get a like a decorative like space whale that you can use to, to like it's a cosmetic item you get in game. There is a jumpsuit and there's a grenade launcher. All three items will automatically be credited to your account. You are a Star Citizen backer. If you bought a pack before Saturday, you will get these three additional items. Jumpsuit and the grenade launcher thing is what's most uh, interesting, especially the grenade launcher should be fun. But all those items will be credited to your account if you are a bagger. They have said they might not all show up on exactly the 8th. They are going to be credited over time, so if you don't have it on the day, um, then, then don't worry. I actually believe they will be in your hangar first, and then you will get access to them in the 318 update, which we're going to talk more about. So it might be a little while before you actually get to play with them. But for now, at least, if you want to have your, have your hands on it, have that added to your account, then make sure that you have a uh, you have a game pack before the 8th of um, October. Um, and if you haven't signed up for Star Citizen yet, you can use getstarcitizen.d2ea.com. There is a link in the description. And then you also get some additional starting credits and uh, I get some referral points that give me access to some fun in-game stuff as well. Also in Star Citizen, 318 is finally in Evocati. And for those of you who are not familiar with the release schedule of Star Citizen patches, Evocati is like the first time the, the public gets their hands on um, on the patch. Now, when I say the public, uh, it means it's a hand-picked um, number of players that get access to it, and these players are often under NDA, so not a lot is really shared, so it's not really public, but it's outside CIG, so I don't know. But some players get early access to it, and they just go in and they help them iron out the worst um, box before it moves into the Wave 1 PTU. And just a quick like sum up, I think the main feature in 3.18, which is coming, is the persistent entity streaming, which should mean that you have a much higher chance of the of the game should now be able to much better um, save your state uh, of your ship and of your items so that if you have a crash or if you log out, you'll spawn back in the same location. Well, there's been a lot of other things that also um, is coming to that patch. It's a massive, massive patch. Uh, just to mention some that they also mentioned in the, in the Inside Star Citizen, like the whole river system has had an update and an overhaul, so that now rivers are, are prettier and they are better and they look a lot more clean. Um, the whole crime and punishment system has had a massive overhaul. Um, the whole prison gameplay is being expanded upon, where you can now begin to communicate with the outside, taking like... Um, being like a man on the inside for uh, uh, <laughs> for for dubious uh, people on the outside who can do their dirty work on the inside, and they're also going to make some changes to the the whole way you can try to escape from prison, um, changing the layout there. That should be a lot of fun as well. Uh, the whole way you get rid of, of crime stats that's receiving an overhaul as well, so that will now be a little bit more challenging. So. Crime and Punishment receiving a um, a needed overhaul as well. There's a mission that's going to be added out at Orison. So we have some mission that's going to basically utilize the new island platforms that were actually made for the Siege of Orison dynamic event. But we're now going to get missions that's going to send you out there as well. And these missions are going to be very bare bone uh, in the beginning here. They're just trying out, figuring out which direction they want to go with these missions. So we probably shouldn't expect them to be super complicated or fully fleshed out. It's probably just going to be go here, shoot some NPCs, uh, and then pick up some loot. But usually these locations are pretty good for picking up loot, so if uh, that should be interesting. At least I'm going to take a look at it. But one of the things that really makes me excited is hull scraping, where we now get... It's essentially like mining. I think the flow is going to be a lot like mining where you fly a dedicated salvage ship and you go out and find derelict ships and then you will strip the outer hull away from them. Um, this material can then either be sold or you can actually use it to repair, like make minor repairs to, uh, to other um, ships while they are in space. But all of this is coming in the 3.18 update, which I expect that we're going to see on the PTU servers in the not too distant future. I don't really have a lot to talk about in the lead. It's been a very quiet week other than the Federation 
going after the Fargot cult. So I'm just going to jump straight on to the, uh, to the live stream, which is going to be in Elite. Um, I've decided to go out and do some exploration again. I uh, haven't really moved my exploration character in months, so I think it's about time that uh, that character gets a little bit of attention as well. I kind of want to to fly. I'm I'm really split like where or what direction I should go to where the next target should be. Um, but I think that's something we could talk about doing the live stream tomorrow. Um, either maybe want to head towards the bubble, or sorry, not the bubble, the, uh, the 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 core, and then head out maybe beyond the core. Maybe head back towards Colonia because it could be fun to do some videos on unlocking the Colonia engineers. So I don't really know. Um, I'm thinking I'm leaning li slightly towards heading back towards Colonia, but we'll see. Come by the live stream tomorrow and uh, we'll make a decision then. It's going to be live streamed both on YouTube and on Twitch. And as I said, it's going to be tomorrow and it's going to be at 7 o'clock in game time. Thanks a lot for watching and until next time, I'll see you guys in space.